Welcome once again to Online Maths TV. My name is Jakes Anemo, and this is where you learn mathematics every day. Today we have a simple challenge before us. It's on a simultaneous equation, two quadratic. And the question reads, 2x to the power of 2 plus 3y to the power of 2 equal to 21. And the second equation is 6x to the power of 2 plus 9 y to the power of 2 equal to 21x. What well, there will be the values of x and y. Now, before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video, a wonderful video like the one you're about to watch right now. So without much waste of time, let's go into today's challenge. All right. All right, so we put down our equations. So we have here 2 to the power 2x to the power of 2 plus 3y to the power of 2 equal to 21. Let's give this equation 1. Then the second one, which is 6x to the power of 2 plus 9y to the power of 2 equal to 21s. Let's give this equation 2. Okay. Now, if you look carefully, you'll discover that here we're having s to the power of 2, s to the power of 2, y to the power of 2, y to the power of 2. So we can subtract either equation 1 from equation 2 or equation 2 from equation 1. But before we can do that, we either make the coefficient of x to the power of 2 in equation 1 and 2 to be the same or the coefficient of y to the power of 2 in equation 1 and 2 to be same. Okay, and it's very easy. All we need to do here is to multiply the whole of equation 1 by 3. Okay, so from here we'll say multiply, multiply equation 1 by 3. So if we do that, yeah, equation 1 will now become 6x to the power of 2. Then 3 times 3 will give us plus 9y to the power of 2 equal to 3 times 21 will give us 63. Our equation 2 remains the same or we can say multiply equation 2 by 1 which will still give us the same thing. And so we have this to be 6 x to the power of 2 plus 9y to the power of 2 equal to 21x. Okay, very easy. At this point, we cannot subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So 6x to the power of 2 minus 6s to the power of 2. This and this will turn to 0. Use this minus to multiply this plus sign here. And so we have 9y square minus 9y square because minus times plus will give us minus and so this and this will also leave so you discover that on the left hand side we are left with zero equal to here we now have 63 minus 21 s okay very easy let's proceed send this to this other side with the minus sign so once it crosses the sign of equality it turns to Plus, so we have here 21s equal to 63. Of course, we divide by um, 21. So if we divide by 21, also divide this other side by 21. This and this will leave. 21 here will give us 1 and 21 here will give us uh, 3. So our x is equal to 3. We've gotten the first value for x already. Now, at this point, what we do is to put the value of x into equation 1 or 2. But equation 1 is simpler. So, when I say put x equal to 3 into equation 1. Okay, let's put down our equation 1. Our equation 1 says 2 to the power, 2, 2x to the power of 2, there, plus 3 y to the power of 2 
equal to 21. So wherever we see x, we put down 3 there. So this will now give us 2 into 3 to the power of 2 plus 3y squared equal to 21. Good. This will automatically give us 2 into 9 there plus 3y squared equal to 21. And here we have 18 plus 3y squared equal to 21. Collect our lightings. So this we are left on this side with 3y to the power of 2 equal to 21 minus 18. And 21 minus 18 will give us 3. So here we are left with 3 on the right hand side. So we now have here 3y to the power of 2 equal to 3. Of course we divide through and so this and this will leave. So we are now left with y to the power of 2 equal to 1. What do we do at this stage? We take the square root of both sides. And so this will now give us the square root of y to the power of 2 equal to the square root of 1. And at this point, we introduce plus minus. And so this will take care of this. So we are now left with y equal to plus minus 1. All right. Now we've gotten the two values for our y already. Mind you, in the original equation, we have a um, quadratic equation for the two of them. We have x to the power of 2, y to the power of 2. So we are expected to solve for two different values for x and y. And meanwhile, here we've succeeded in getting only one value for x. But for our y, we've gotten the needed two values for x. So for us to get the a second value for our x, we now pick one of the values of y and put into equation 1. So let's take the positive value of y. So from here again, we say put y equal to plus 1 into equation 1. Okay, our equation 1 again says 2s to the power of 2 there plus 3y to the power of 2 equal to 21. Good. So wherever we see y, we put in positive 1. So this will now give us 2s to the power of 2 plus 3 bracket 1 to the power of 2 equal to 21. So this automatically will give us 2s to the power of 2 plus 3 because 1 to the power of 2 will give us 1 and 3 times 1 will give us 3 equal to 21. Let's continue. So from here, we now have 2 to the power of x squared equal to 21 minus 3. Very easy. So to we'll subtract, we're going to have here 2 to the power of uh, 2s to the power of 2 equal to, here we are left with 18. We divide both sides by 2, divide both sides by 2. This and this we leave. 2 here 1, 2 here we have 9. So we now have x to the power of 2 equal to 9. Again, we take the square root of both sides. So this will now give us x to the power of 2 square root equal to the square root of 9 and we introduce plus minus to this so from here this we take care of this and we are left with x equal to plus minus 3 so these are the two values for x okay so our s is this and our y is plus minus 1 now if you go ahead to a check if this roots are correct you can pick any of them and put it into equation one or equation two you will discover that that will give you the correct answer but let's just check with one of the roots so let's check let's pick equation one and put in negative three okay so if we put in negative three and negative uh, one then we're going to have this to be uh, let's take our equation one two x to the power of 2 there 
plus 3y to the power of 2 equal to 21. So, mind you, we said let's take when x is equal to minus 3 and y equal to minus 1. And so, wherever we see s, we put in minus 3, and wherever we see y, we put in minus 1. So, we have this to be 2 into minus 3 to the power of 2, then plus 3 into minus 1 to the power of 2 equal to 21. Okay. This will give us 2 into minus 3 times minus 3 will give us 9 bracket plus bracket minus 1 times minus 1 will give us 1 equal to 21. And here we're going to have here to be 18 plus here we have we have 3 here please. Then 3 times 1 will give us 3 equal to 21. And 80 plus 3 will give us 21 equal to 21. So this shows that this answer is correct. Now if you take the positive uh, 3 and the positive 1, put it to either of the equation, we we'll discover that it will give you or uh, satisfy the Equation. Okay, so this shows that our answers are correct. Okay, so the two answers here, this and this are correct. So this is all I have for you for today. If you have learned something from this uh, simple challenge, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any question with regard to the survey, also drop it in the comment uh, section. If you have a better way of solving this uh, challenge, also drop it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you. Again, this is Online Mass TV, and all of us at Online Mass TV love you so much because you are always there. We are proud of you. Thanks for always being there. Bye for now.